celebrations taking place in this province and around the world. In BC, this blueberry farmer is one of many supporting those in India and now feeling the relief. We are feel very good. We are going so many rallies and everybody's happy, you know. Kuhner has farmed in Abbotsford for 35 years with personal connections and property back home in India. My friends and relatives called congratulating. From here, from India, everybody's happy. All these farmers sacrificed their lives, protesting in sun, rain, finding shade. The efforts of farmers cultivating a victory, he says. Celebrating along with the farmers is this American cardiologist who has been just outside Delhi for a year, helping treat more than 100,000 protesters. When I heard the news about this, I literally couldn't stop crying. It literally feels like there was a noose uh, around the necks of the farmers, and we were able to remove that noose. Something that took too long to happen, with more than 700 farmers dying during the protests in India, he says. And all the human rights violations that we suffered through, and I think it finally, it ended. For a year, the Indian government has defended its laws, saying that they were necessary to modernize the country's agriculture sector and boost private investment. But farmers protested, saying that they were a threat to their livelihood, forcing them to sell their crops at a price too low. But with all the joy, some warn it's still important to be critical as the announcement comes before key elections next year. And the government must still repeal the laws, a process not expected to start until December. There are still other outstanding issues that the farmers want discussed. He says volunteers from Khalsa Aid will continue to stand with the farmers until they return to their land. Many of these farmers who've been out protesting can see, you know, light at the end of this tunnel, that they will be able to have um, dignity in their farming. Others here in BC remain optimistic, sharing the news and reveling in the celebration. Benit Brach, CBC News, Abbotsford.